the weekend looks like we'll have a pretty active weather week next week, which may keep some of us kind of cooped up inside. You were saying that maybe some rain on Monday, but that's fine because I feel just like that's little. so on brand. It is. With Monday. It it's is. like gloomy. Might sad. as well just bring a bunch. Tuesday is the day we may see a lot of rain. Everybody knows how we feel about Tuesday. Also on brand. Lost, lost cause. On Monday and Tuesday, I like cry and ma do my makeup at the same time. It's that's just it. very depressing. So do I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot you put a little makeup on. A little All bit. All right. All right, guys, you know what time it is. We've got six things you should know. And number one on our list, today might be a good time to check on that elderly neighbor who's isolated due to the pandemic because it's National Se Senior Citizen Day. And former President Ronald Reagan pro proclaimed August 21st National Senior Citizen Day back in 1988. The Social Security Administration considers seniors, people who are roughly age 65 or older. According to the Census Bureau, more than 54 million people in the U.S. fall into that category. The CDC says that age group is prone to complications from COVID-19, so this could be a good time to call or otherwise support a senior who is stuck at home. Yes, definitely go check on them. I actually used to take care of my neighbors who were elderly. I used to do it in high school. I used to go over there after school every day. Honestly, one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done in my life. So they many good stories. Best. Yeah, just happy to see people. And uh, I know my parents, they're in their 70s. They're kind of cooped up right now. And you can tell it's starting to get to them a little bit. They kind of yeah. roam around their neighborhood. But yeah, stop and give them a little time. Absolutely. Or if you, can, if you can help someone with their groceries, that would be nice. Maybe mow sure. their lawn. Just anything that you can do to help. Definitely a good day to do it. But just any day is a good day to help out. Yes. All right, guys, moving on. 21% of Americans currently do not have any money saved in case of an emergency. That's according to a study by Bankrate.com. And the company released its new study on Thursday. And they say that number is actually at its lowest in 10 years of polling. Bankrate believes the stimulus checks and federal unemployment benefits may have helped people save. Still, the study found 35% of Americans have less emergency savings now than they did before the pandemic, and many of those with savings do not have enough to cover three months worth of their expenses. I was actually really surprised this is a low number in my opinion. 21% of Americans don't have a savings account. You I thought, thought it, it would be, be like a little more. bit higher than that? Yeah, for sure, at least half, but I'm really bad at saving money, so <laughs> I'm right. just like putting myself in this category because I mean, money burns a hole in my pocket. And I think, what do they say? You should have six month emergency fund or something. So I don't know if that's what they're basing it off of, but understandably people have maybe eaten into that over the last 100%. few months going with what's going on. So 100%. So hopefully yeah. we make it out of this really soon and we can keep stacking away money so that we'll pr we're prepared for another rainy day. Amen. Because it will come. Yes. All right, guys. And Taco Bell has unveiled its newest restaurant design and it's aimed at limiting human interaction. So these photos show how the fast food chain is pushing its mobile ordering service in drive through yeah, Taco Bell cutting back on dining room seating and adding a second drive through lane dedicated to pickup orders made on its app. Go Mobile is set to roll out next year. The design and mobile ordering system is in response to how customers change the way they order food during the pandemic. I'm definitely the last time I went inside of Taco Bell, I was in high school. Seriously? Isn't that wild? Yeah. Other than that, I just go through the drive thru. Is How that long ago was, high, was that like three years ago for you? <laughs> Come on. You were so mean. <laughs> no, it was 10 years ago. Okay. And that used to be the thing. We used to walk to Taco Bell and then go to the movies because they were like right next to each other. So yeah. we would just like walk around this little area. And then we would go buy some gum at the gas station, which was also next door. That was like the hangout spot? That was the hangout spot. So my college in our kick. What do you call that? Just like kind of the commons area yeah. where everybody would go mm -hmm. eat lunch. We had a Taco Bell, so we would eat at the Taco Bell every day. But it was kind of inside with all the other restaurants. Really? So, yeah. I feel like they probably got a lot of your parents' money. Every day I had like <laughs> the Baja Blast, what was it? And then yeah. like a Chalupa. I still eat every that. Every day. <laughs> Powered me through college. I'm yeah. still eating like a college student. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. And Taylor Swift wants you to shake it off, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch says shake it on. This iconic cereal flavor now comes in a handy bottle for topping just about anything with a little sweetness. Now, Cinnadust blends together cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, and graham crackers goodness into an easy to enjoy powder. We are thinking way beyond toast here. You can try it on ice cream, yogurt, fresh fruit, or as a substitute for sprinkles and a cupcake. Cinnadust will be available at Sam's Club starting September 1st, and it won't be sold in other grocery stores or online until early next year. So one more reason to look forward to 2021. I think I'm a child because the first thing I thought about was 
We could do the cinnamon challenge. Oh, with that. Oh, with this. Yeah, don't look that up right now if you're at <laughs> home with youngsters. Um, what would be the worst thing to put that on? Like a banana or something? Yeah, like <laughs> just something that doesn't belong, like maybe a some steak? vegetables. Like well, just season your steak with that? With the cinnadus? Honestly, that sounds pretty good. I saw yesterday people were putting it, I think we had it on that footage as well, people were putting it on like ice cream. That yeah. sounds amazing. That's so it actually kind of sounds maybe it would be good on a banana. Stop. Like cinnamon on a banana? We're going to bring a few things and then we're going to bring the dust. And like we're asparagus, see. <laughs> like no good. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> do not do that. All right, guys, in this flu and cold season approaches, many are stocking up on the essentials. Tissues, chicken noodle soup, cough medicine. But there's a new study that shows that you should also add honey to that list. Now, this study from Oxford University suggests that honey is a good alternative for relieving symptoms of colds and coughs. I think we've known this, right? Yeah, honey has been used as a home remedy for years. And did you know this? studies have proven it can kill bacteria, but physicians want to determine how effective honey is at treating symptoms of upper respiratory infections. After analyzing existing evidence, they found honey was even superior to usual care, like some over-the-counter medicines. 100% when I was little, I would have a sore throat all the time, and that's what my mom would give me, just a spoonful of honey. Would you rather and have honey or cough medicine? You decide. I think we know honey. The, yeah, I think we know what the answer 100%, is. A hundred percent. But I think it kind of had like bad memories for me because I was like, honey is me being sick. So for a while, I didn't like honey at all. Yeah, that's and then I grew sense. up and I was like, I love honey. I love honey in my tea. Right. And you're supposed to buy it local. Buy local honey is what yes. they say because it can help you with some of the allergies. And Absolutely. Yeah, and speaking like of buying local, we're actually going to be talking to the uh, Shapeboard's Farmer's Market later on in the show. And they have local honey from local farmers. So this is a great time to, to go buy it there. Great segue. Yes. Nice job. Nice job. All right, guys, and parents will have an easier time getting vaccinations for their children. So it turns out the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has expanded access to childhood vaccines during this pandemic. HHS now allows pharmacists in every state to give vaccines to kids over the age of three. Now, the pharmacist must have a state license. Officials hope this will lead to more children getting vaccinated. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported orders for childhood vaccines fell sharply at the peak of the pandemic in early spring. The American Academy of Pediatrics have slammed the move. The group represents pediatricians. They called the change incredibly misguided. And that wraps up our six things you should know. But guys, these stories get us every single time and we wanted to share it with you to give you maybe some fussy feels to go into your weekend. So New York officer was a New York officer was called back to his precinct to help to help greet a VIP visitor and received a huge surprise. Sergeant Harold Murphy was told he will be part of a detail for a special guest and he got something way bigger instead. He did. Murphy joined the line of officers there to greet the VIP and was surprised to find out that the person was his son. Officer Ryan Murphy has been in Afghanistan all year serving as a sergeant with the U.S. Army. Great to see that. My heart's still racing seeing him. I feel like any proud parent, concerned, worried. Now I'm happy. Now his son's return came as a big surprise because Murphy thought that his son would actually be in Afghanistan for several more weeks. I have watched these YouTube videos. I mean, I will just watch like hours of yeah. these uh, soldiers coming home or surprising their parents or siblings or significant others. And every time I am just crying. It'll get you. It's so sweet. And that one's, it's interesting because I think a lot of people may see it coming because it will time out when they're actually, you know, released or they get off mm -hmm. of their deployment. But he said he came home about a month early. So I there know. Was no way the dad was expecting that. No way he was expecting. What a nice surprise. I'm sure he is feeling so happy and uh, so uh, excited to spend some time together. After we, need, we need more of that right absolutely. now for sure. All right, guys, we have to take a quick break. But when we get back, we're telling you what you need to know when it comes to ADHD in adolescents. And later, if you're working on, a, on building your own project, I'm telling you where to get your materials for a lot less money. Yes, yeah, right in the Shreveport Farmers Market is extending its dates through October. We'll have those details later in the show. Stay with us.